Number nine in the radius range is the man on the roof. Now I was super excited about this one from their announcement schedule, uh, the first few titles, this was one that really jumped out to me and it did not disappoint, quickly becoming one of my favourite discs they've released. I personally love procedural movies. I love these kind of noirish tales and when they're done right they can be fantastic and this one is done terrifically well. Based off a book uh, following a character of Martin Beck who's been adapted several times before, you get a wonderful opening here where you see this really brutal killing at the start of it. But it's shot fantastically well. Almost hints of a little bit of giallo in there which I just love that little flavour flung in at the start. The way it's shot is just superb. It lets you know that you're in the competent hands of a director who knows exactly what he's doing here. You don't get to see all this blood and guts and gore, but it's just flashes and glimpses and it just makes your mind run away with you, creating a more bloody sequence than I actually saw and I was into this one. We then meet a number of police detectives, including Beck, who are going to work together and try and figure out what happened to Naaman, the man who was murdered, who turns out to be a kind of high-ranking police officer. And they start to dig into his background, trying to figure out why was he brutally murdered in this fashion when he was ill in hospital and not looking as if he was the greatest of health. Why did someone decide to murder this character? Du kände nu mamma. Han liksom and we follow the procedure of finding out the information. Two cops who are tired, they're beat up, they're just spending a lot of time mulling over facts, thinking, chasing down little bits of information, chasing dead ends that mean nothing. The procedural aspect was really wonderfully delivered. It's languid. You feel as if some of it's just, they're hanging about just waiting. Um, making small detours, like when Beck goes to the baths for a swim and a massage at one point. In the middle um, of his working day, it's just a great little aside that tells you everything about this character. That's his rest and recuperation. He's going to continue to work through to try and figure out what's going on here. Bruce Pig, Centropod. No, what did you say? 20 names from the man's history. And I loved all the side characters and the way we kind of meet them and interact with them and how some can be abrasive, some can be tolerant of the constant interruptions, but they're all wonderfully played out here. And the second half of the film becomes an almost exercise in how to do wonderful tension, as there is a man on the roof eh, taking pot shots at people in the street below and it becomes high tense as they try to figure out a way to get up there and stop him. But you never see that character and it's one of those kind of aspects that I, I, I kind of liked because just keeping the person's face out of view, always seeing like a hand or a, a leg or a gun um, or seeing them trying to get there was wonderful and there are so many subversive sequences of things that I would never have expected to see, the way they tackle certain situations. You know, over familiarisation with certain uh, Hollywood-isms I suppose you're expecting certain beats to happen and when they don't happen that way it becomes invigorating. Exciting because these aren't sticking to the normal rules of filmmaking I've seen before. They're doing something a little bit different, taking chances and creating something that is really unusual, exciting and edge of the seat thrilling. The Man in the Roof was terrific. There's so many sequences that I want to talk about that were amazing, that really kind of enlightened this. There's black humour all the way through this, which is ridiculously funny. Yeah, Indian. There is moments of just real shock and surprise, especially with our hero Beck near the end. There's a moment that I just did not see coming. And it was truly fantastic when it did happen. Um, a little bit different. I was a little bit 
unsure of what and how things were playing out that way but I, I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to waste it this is a phenomenal movie giving an idea of Sweden in the mid 70s giving an idea of how the police go about their procedures the political kind of landscape looking at the police and their practices a little bit as well touches on all these different things but at its heart it's a wonderful police procedural thriller that does exactly uh, what it should it's full of exciting action set pieces moments of tension atmosphere languid moments where people are literally hitting the brick wall and not one wondering how they're going to move on from this it's a terrific film and i am so glad to have seen it so glad to radiance for putting it out this has been a terrific discovery for me and of course the disc has some truly fantastic extras on it. So let's dive in, have a little look at the disc for The Man on the Roof. We have an introduction by Bo Windeberg. It was originally broadcast on Swedish TV in 1978. and provides a kind of warning and explanation for some of the kids that are about to watch us, addressing it to nine-year-olds that are going to check this out and about how we should bring up conversation about violence. It's a nice little extra. Next up, we have scene-specific commentary. This is the sequences that we talk about here within this one. It is 50 minutes 39 in total, going through them all. It's really good, giving lots of information. By breaking it down to just certain scenes, they really deliver a great deal of information, and it's impactful and pertinent. It doesn't feel like it's just padding out. Although I would have loved a full commentary, I feel like this hits most of the key scenes. Bo Winderberg. This is 50 minutes, 55 seconds, behind the scenes, looking at the filmmaker, uh, some uh, behind the scenes of his films, talking about those and his private life as well. And it's quite interesting to hear him talk about how he's pulled certain aspects from his life and put it into the films. With a view to realism, is a 2004 documentary uh, looking at the man on the roof and how it was made, talking to... Uh, cast, crew and journalists this is 1 hour, 21 minutes 19 seconds and was fantastic, highlight of the disc for me, this was a great extra looking into all the aspects of the film like how they were going to pick Martin Beck why they chose that person how it was only uh, Widerberg that seen that option there as well as getting the film made and it's impact, terrific addition to this disc Next up we have Report, and this excerpt from Swedish TV programme Report, Bill Wittberg, um interviewed on the set of Man on the Roof. It basically is what it is, you know, it's 2 minutes 45 seconds, it's a quick sort of snippet of what he's making here, and it's just a nice addition. On top of that we've got the gallery, we've got the trailer, and we have a 52 page booklet in this one as well, which has some great essays inside it. Uh, particularly I love the one all about Martin Beck and the series of books. It's made me excited to maybe go and check out a few of those and the one about directing uh, and how hard it was during this period of time in Swedish filmmaking. Also just the end of it, the critical overlook is just a terrific addition, looking at the critical impact, so pulling sort of key quotes from various reviews. It's just a nice touch. It's a great package. And that's the disc for The Man in the Roof. So there we have it. This is an essential pickup. I love this movie. It was all kinds of wonderful for me. The extras complemented the package. The booklet was terrific. I devoured everything because the movie was just so amazing. I wanted more. This was a really exciting release for me. Something I would never have discovered. The kind of reason that I love boutiques for pulling out a wonderful movie like this. I highly recommend it. I think you would love it if you check it out. I would love to know your thoughts on The Man on the Roof if you've seen it. Are you going to get it? Are you not interested? Have I kind of won you over on this one? I would love to know your thoughts on this film or whether you're going to pick it up in the comment box below. So drop me a comment while you're down there, let me know and hit the thumbs up because I'd really appreciate it. There's more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff and in the description box below are links to the Patreon the membership programme manvfilm.com always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.